Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your default output device in Windows. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your desktop. What we're going to be doing is coming down to our start button and our Windows taskbar right here. We're going to be clicking this open and we're going to be searching for sound. Once we search for sound, one of the top hits here should be the sound settings and it should be a system settings application right here. All we need to do is left click to open this up and here we'll get some more information and settings about our sound and our windows. Now when we open this up, we're actually going to be split up into two main categories. One is the output section and one is the input section. For today's video, we're of course going to be focusing on the output section right here. And the very top option here will be able to choose our output device for Windows. What we can do is left click to open this up and here we'll see a list of all available output devices in our Windows. So in this case, I'm actually using my USB DAC at the moment, which is showing up here as my K3 USB. All I'm going to be doing is selecting that. Below that, we can then click on device properties. We can change some information here. We can rename it. We can add spatial sound format and we can even change the left and right audio balance. And if we come out one step further, we can also change the master volume here for this sound device to change it. So you can increase it or decrease it. This can can also be done in hotkeys in your windows or it can be done on the bottom right of your taskbar with the sound settings right here you can click this open and you can change the volume here as well and then finally you have the option manage sound devices and then here you'll be able to see a list of all of your currently connected input output and disabled sound devices anyway guys it's as easy as that to change the default sound output in windows if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm going to be leaving a link down below to my paypal if found these videos helpful and you want to support me anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always Keep it saucy. Peace.